Should I flex tank Dell or Darren Waller? How can I'm sorry, Sammy. After what Darren Waller has done, how can we be in on Darren Waller? This is a player that I was significantly lower than the market on in Darren Waller. In fact, why don't I even pull up my my Twitter? Because I got into a little Twitter dispute with Alan Seslowski. Shout out to Alan. He's a great guy. Much respect in the fantasy football industry. Us fantasy analysts, we don't we don't make our living if we agree with what everyone says. And if we don't have if we have vanilla takes, how are we going to get get going? So Alan, Alan back on August 19th said that poor drafters are already they're gonna have to live with Darren Waller getting 105 receptions and four touchdowns. I feel bad so bad from this was Alan. And I said if Darren Waller gets 105 receptions i will eat a hat yeah i didn't specify what hat i would eat but darren waller was a he was a wide a tight end 11 for me in projections and i was just so low on him i said that the volume is going to be low the target share is going to be lower the touchdowns aren't going to be there i was concerned and that was completely beside the fact that I didn't even mention in my arguments the injury history. I didn't I did mention the age cliff, but I did not mention the injury history and the reason why I was out on Darren Waller and I had him ranked in my preseason as tight end 11. Poor uh, so Allen was was I quote tweeted him and said that Waller's on pace for 64 receptions this year and Allen then asked this has to be below what you were thinking 64 and I said no actually it's slightly above. I had Darren Waller projected for 50 eight receptions, 58.1 receptions. So I was pretty close right now. He's on pace for 64. So off by less than six projected receptions over the course of the season. So we're starting tank Dell Darren Waller and the giants offense is in a lot of trouble. And I don't know what's wrong with Darren Waller necessarily, but Daniel Jones, there's a lot of issues going on with that offensive line. Jones looks jittery. And I think that, It's failing because the offense is supposed to funnel through these slot receivers, right? Darren Waller and Wondell Robinson and everything. And so teams have just compressed their defenses to the middle of the field. So Waller is going to have to work on the outside. These small slot receivers like Paris Campbell is getting a ton of snaps. What Paris Campbell is arguably the worst full-time wide receiver in the NFL. Look at any metric. And Paris Campbell is near the bottom of every single efficiency metric known to man. So this entire thing is bad. You're starting Tank Dell. If you enjoyed the content, found this helpful, make sure you guys are smashing that red subscribe button. 